Hello, today on ExtremeSFX.com, we are going to show you how to transform yourself or a friend into a diabolical clown. To do this, you will need a few things. Latex clown nose prosthetic, alcohol, spirit gum, spirit gum remover, rubber mask grease makeup in red, cream makeup in black, white, and old age, and translucent powder. You will also need a variety of makeup tools like brushes, makeup sponges, stipple sponge, and Q-tips. Start with clean, unmoisturized skin. Any type of moisture or oil can cause the prosthetic to not stick as well. We used toner to clean the skin. Check the fit of the prosthetic on the face and take note of where the edges of the prosthetic sit. You don't want the prosthetic to be too close to the eyes and you will also need to know where to apply the spirit gum. Fill the prosthetic with cotton balls so there is no empty space between your actual nose and the prosthetic. Leave about a quarter inch edge around the prosthetic where there is no cotton. This is where you will apply the spirit gum. Before you apply the prosthetic, clean out any powder residue from the inside edge with alcohol this will help the prosthetic to stick better. You will be using spirit gum to glue the prosthetic onto the face. Apply the spirit gum on the face just where the edges of the prosthetic will lie, not over the entire nose. For extra hold, you can also apply a layer of spirit gum to the edge of the prosthetic. We used a flat, square brush, but if your bottle of spirit gum comes with a brush, it's perfectly fine to use that, or even a Q-tip will work. Do not apply the spirit gum too close to the eyes. Tap the spirit gum on the face with your finger till it is tacky. This is what activates the adhesive. Next, lay the prosthetic on the face, pressing the edges of the prosthetic onto the glue that is on the face. Use a brush handle or your fingers to press the prosthetic onto the face till the edges lie flat. The smoother you can get the edges of the prosthetic to lie, the more realistic your makeup will look. Using translucent powder and an eyeshadow brush, powder the edges of the prosthetic and any areas that any spirit gum is showing. This will make the exposed spirit gum not sticky. Brush off any excess powder. For the Diabolical Clown makeup, you will be using red rubber mask grease makeup, black, white, and old age cream foundation. Start the clown makeup by blocking out all of the big, important features. We began by applying red rubber mask grease makeup to the nose. Then we applied the black cream foundation to the inner area of the lips and extended it out to create the inside of the smile. Continuing with the black, fill in the entire eye area. Also, round the black down below the eyes and bring it all the way up into the eyebrows. At about the center of the brow, bring the black up onto the forehead in a curved shape. Using a foundation brush or makeup sponge, apply the white cream foundation to the rest of the face and neck, leaving a blank space around the black smile to add red. You will want to take into account how much skin your costume shows and blend the makeup down to that point. You can use a small brush, the tip of a sponge, or a Q-tip to apply the white to small areas, like around the nose and eyes. Complete the shape of the smile by applying the red rubber mask grease makeup around the black. Next, we are going to make our clown look a bit haggard. To do this, draw in wrinkles on the forehead, nasal labial fold, chin, inner eyebrows, and coming out from the black around the eyes. Deepen the wrinkles by adding black lightly over the old age. Also, feather little uneven black lines out from the black around the eyes. To blend the wrinkles, 
dry brush them up into the white foundation. We do this by taking a fan brush with no makeup on it, laying it onto the color of the wrinkles and lightly brushing the old age in black up into the white. Carefully finish applying white around the red smile. You don't want to blend the colors too much and end up with pink. We wanted the smile to look a little haggard, so we added a few jagged red lead lines coming out from the smile onto the white foundation. Also, unevenly blend the black inside of the smile out onto the red. To add more texture and to help blend the colors a little more, we used a stipple sponge with all of the colors. We began by stippling black onto the red of the mouth and out from around the eyes over the black feathering. You don't want an even smooth blend of colors. You want to create a kind of messy texture. Next, bring the red out from around the nose and mouth, just slightly onto the white. Stipple the old age sporadically around the eyes and over the wrinkles we created earlier. To set the makeup, pat translucent powder onto the face. You can use a powder brush like we did or use a powder puff. Either works just as well. You can also use an eyeshadow brush to get powder into the small areas like around the eyes and nose. What is important is to start by pressing more powder than you think you will need onto the face, then carefully brush away the excess. You don't want to smudge the makeup by brushing over it before it is set. Complete your diabolical clown character by adding a pair of yellow contact lenses. There are many clown costume options out there. Look for one that matches your character's personality. Thank you for watching the Diabolical Clown Makeup Tutorial. You can purchase most of the products used in this video at ExtremeSFX.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, share, comment, and check out ExtremeSFX.com to see more awesome characters.